and, and saying, uh, God, I come to from this and made it to this. Right now. And, and they'll try to shame you if Not you say, well, you, God, you had a silver spoon handed to you. Shout out, say cheese, Well, that's what's supposed interview. to happen. Uh, I'm supposed to be given an, an, an edge, an advantage because of what my parents did. Uh, I'm sorry your parents didn't do that. So we resent one another for that. So I, I, I challenge people and ask them, uh, how you get your job? Because as far back as I can remember, uh, when I was being taught things, some of the first lessons and things that I was taught in life is, nigga, it ain't what you know, it's who you know. Ass. It ain't what you know, it's who you know. Networking. So it's good to know something, but it also know it's also good and important to know some people, right? That's where networking come from. That's where joining the fraternities. That's where going to college and, and, and getting in these different groups and social groups because some of these people are going to be successful in life. Yeah. So I'm here to check That's out Pete. Now he's interested in setting up his LLC for his business. I'm going to show him. Uh, so, homie, we the only ones look down on that. And, and ne nepotism is not a bad thing. Bronny James going to the NBA. He only averaged four points a game in college. Sheesh. Um, he got a he guaranteed good, contract for $7 million dollars as a rookie, which is not heard of. You don't think that's taking food out of somebody else's plate? And that's how he like, didn't earn it. Yeah. Well, well, when you say taking food out of somebody else's plate, somebody else could have got picked at that fifty fifth spot. But, but, but hold on, this is my money. Whoever got the whoever gave him the seven million, it's not in their plate. It's in my pocket. How am I taking it out of his plate when this my money and this boy daddy worked for me? Because there's another there's another kid who earned it. Better stats Better in college. Oh, uh, you if, couldn't. Uh, you you couldn't have earned it. How you earned it, and you ain't get it. If you earned it, you would have got it. Because LeBron James is somebody's dad backs. and got him in somebody else's position. Say, man, didn't Philly dog get y'all jobs up at GameStop? Yeah. Didn't he get you and your partner some game to GameStop? <laughs> yeah. Shit, hell with them other niggas who daddy ain't up at GameStop can't get them no job, nigga. Shout yeah, out to Philly dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my, my, you, 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 that's a that's a crazy that's a great analogy. My dad, uh, when I graduated high school, he got me and all my homies jobs at the GameStop warehouse. Yeah. So homie, and we didn't so, and, and so we didn't earn it. Dang, that's dope. We didn't earn it. Working at oh, GameStop oh, but did y'all appreciate it? Oh, of course. Did y'all did y'all did it enhance some of y'all life? Definitely, that helped me get to another job to get to another job. To so so another so job. how so how he wrong, homie? How he wrong because that other kid don't know nobody who can give him an opportunity. Because his mama can't get him a job network. at the hospital. A, it ain't about what you how, know, it's how, who you know. Because his mama don't know no, how they wrong. Is it fair? No. But life ain't fair, young people. Mm. Homie, sometimes you can work hard and not go nowhere in life. Some Sometimes you can do everything right, work hard, follow all the rules, do everything, and still not get picked. Life ain't fair. Mm. Life ain't fair, man. Even if he averaged four points a game, though, uh, in college, that's unheard of. Oh, uh, Master P skipped the league and went into the NBA. He didn't go to college. You right. Uh. Master P skipped. Oh. Uh, it's all about who you know. Oh, uh, Jake Paul or Paul Logan, he fighting boxers and MMA players, homie. They ain't fought nobody to do this. He got a point. Life ain't fair. Let him cook. Life ain't fair. That's all I can say. But you got to deal with it. Mm. Hey, but I just, be, before we get any further in this video, I just want to uh, let y'all know that I appreciate y'all for rocking out with me. Hitting that subscribe button when y'all new, liking the videos. Yeah, you feel me? See, I woke right up and got right to it. You feel me? So, but yeah, uh, let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section. Charleston White and Say Cheese got the best Charleston White interviews that ever been made. Like, they're the best to do it. This like Stephen Curry in their prime. Let me know how y'all feel in the comment section about that. Still got to deal with it, even though it ain't fair. So do, do, do I think Bronny be belong in the league? Hell no. He ain't that good. <laughs> he ain't even that good to be playing overseas against them overseas players. 
Ronnie <laughs> need to be a, a, a high school assistant basketball coach or a PE teacher somewhere. <laughs> but he ain't good enough to play no more in the league. Nah, man. Uh, oh my did you God. watch the uh, Did you watch the debate between Trump and um and Biden? Yeah, I watched it. And Trump mentioned black jobs. What's a yeah. black job? Uh, what's a black job? Yeah, he uh, was pretty much saying that immigrants are coming over from Mexico. I'm finna tell you, nigga. I'm finna see construction used to be black jobs. The construction job, the, the, the Mexican that you see laying the concrete door. You're the guy with the gun, the person who would do anything to protect the ones you love. But did you know you're doing the tar, riding the machine? Them used to be black jobs. Then they start letting the illegal immigrants come over. They start taking a job. That's why you don't see number of Mexicans now. What's another, what's another black job? The cashier? <laughs> the nigga that's cooking the fries at McDonald's? <laughs> the burger flipping nigga at Burger King? Uh, in the drive through window. Them all used to be black jobs. Now, who you see now? Illegal immigrants, whether it's Mexicans or what. Uh, what's another black job? Uh, detailing cars. Uh, what's another black job? Standing on the corner begging. <laughs> like you seen all the immigrants, but except the immigrants, they got a new game. They standing on there with flowers. Uh, uh, Roses. The nigga just standing around there with a rag wanting to wipe your windows. That's a black job. Uh, <laughs> what's another black job? Working at the grocery store. All them were black jobs. If nothing else, nigga, me and you could get them jobs during the summertime as teenagers and kids. Now you got the adult grown Ill illegal immigrants making this $9, $10 an hour. When that used to be the summer job for the black kids. <laughs> So, yeah, homie, it's, it's a such thing as black job, selling dope, yeah. stealing, uh, <laughs> stripping, rapping, DJing. So, yeah, y'all them black but, jobs. But, but why selling dope and stealing, though? Everybody, st everybody does that, though. Why they got to be under black job? Uh, because I know black people do it for a living. Even if they ain't winning out, they just go steal, just get up. Like, yeah, homie, they, can, they can be ripped. I know people who steal, sell drugs. Uh, rob and could make more if they got up work and got to go go got went and got a white man's job. <laughs> What's a white man's job? He ain't lying uh, corporate America. Uh, anything anything that requires you to wake up in the morning and leave out your house. I know a lot of black people that that, that work corporate American jobs. Them white people jobs. Cause they but work why? For white why, why can't they be black people jobs? They not black. Only low level paying jobs are black people jobs. Cause you mm. don't see black people get no job predominantly. Mm. Yeah, people were offended with that as well. Black uh, people were offended with black jobs as well. Uh, black people offended with everything, except the condition that they live in. Everything offends black people except their reality and their condition that they live in. They ignore the reality and they ignore their conditions only to be offended by everything else. But look at their neighborhoods. Look at their houses. Look at their family life. Look at the conditions of them, their children, and, and the, the, the parents of the children. Hey. They're at odds with each other. They hate each other. They fight with one another. But everything is offensive. But they don't change nothing. Even the stuff that offends them, they don't change nothing. That stuff gone in every household. So, homie, nobody... Black people opinions only matter on social media, but in real life and in the real world, nobody really pays us any attention anymore because we've been crying wolf too long. Mm. And we inflict worse conditions on each other. So it's hard for people to take us serious. Mm. Now, I mean, since you've been point. blowing up on the Internet for the past, what, four or five years, you've been heavy with Trump, Trump hats. Um, Trump, <laughs> Trump, 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 yeah, he be Trump. Um, and, and this is just what the fans want to know, too. You know, they've been saying it all day on Twitter since you've been going viral the last 24 hours. It's like, why are you so Trump, Trump, Trump? But he has, I mean, he's a felon. Um, he, quote, unquote, pedophile. Um, different things of that of that nature. Why are R you R so Kelly Trump was, R. Kelly was a pedophile. 
Even after we seen him pee on that little girl, we, we didn't stop rocking with him. <laughs> Lil Boosie and them still hollering free R. Kelly. Uh, I just want to ask people who have Trump been accused of, what little girl have Trump been accused of messing with? He been accused of fucking with a hoe, a grown hoe, a, a porn star. He been, a, he been found guilty for paying a porn star. What child have he been accused of? He, he was on the logs to, to go to Epstein, Epstein Island. Uh, so was Chris Tucker. So was Chris Tucker. I seen that. So was Bill Clinton. And black people still love Bill. But we gonna ignore Chris Tucker? Lawrence Taylor was caught with a 15-year-old prostitute with two black eyes. That's documented. Carl Malone, too. He got a 13-year-old girl Come pregnant. Come on now. Come on 13. now. We can go on and on. But. Do you want to see how much money you're eligible for? If you were in a car crash within the last two years, that was not your fault. You could have money coming. The truth is, insurance companies make the claims process as difficult as possible so you get frustrated and make the first deal they offer. Many people settle for $5,000. Trump conviction is on appeal, so technically he's not convicted. Hmm. And so what? All my partners convicted felons. <laughs> yeah. I love any man that'll boldly tell the world that he walked up and grabbed a woman by the and to this day, he still ain't apologized. Nigga, I done been in the club <laughs> drunk when a broad walked by. Nigga, grab the ass. A grab. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. You, oh, we got some partner to do that, right? Come on, man. You ain't got no partner to do that. Why? Reach over there, yeah, and she look I around do. and look. And yeah, nigga, I done done it, nigga. <laughs> yeah, man, shit. Man, I was a little boy, nigga, looking up under grandmama dress. Nigga, I used to look up under grandmama dress. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, nigga, I was, man, I was, man, no, I'm, so this is the first man I ever seen stand up and say, man, I grab, and they like it. They like that, my nigga. Women love for a rich, powerful celebrity man just to grab on them without asking. I done been in plenty of parties and things, and that's what nigga get to do when you the nigga with the money and you the nigga. <laughs> and you the nigga. And then you he gonna said end up like love, Diddy. Huh? And then you gonna end up like Diddy with all them, uh... How, nigga, when they like it? Listen, listen, my name. Everybody did it with Diddy liked it. They didn't start telling it till they didn't like it no more. Mm. And that's when he stopped. They didn't start telling on Diddy till he stopped. The longer he was doing it, you only heard whispers. Once he stopped doing it to him, that's when they started telling on him. But just think about this, homie. You still ain't heard nobody say he made me do it. He forced me to do it. Mm. But all I'm going to say is, homie, uh, you done been around a lot of rich niggas, homie. Yeah. Tell me a rich nigga that don't get to do what he want to do with a woman that's in his atmosphere and in his environment. That she don't submit if he want to do that. Come on, my, come on, let's be real, my nigga. They go diddy me, they go diddy me. Cause I, nigga, I make them, nigga, I'm a, yeah, I act a, yeah, with this money. I'm a Trump type nigga, nigga. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. It's too much, man. Look. Appreciate y'all for uh, rocking with me. Like I said, man, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how y'all feel about what he's saying about Bronnie, uh, Trump. The black job situation, Carl Malone, uh, Diddy. You know, let me know how y'all feel about all that in the comment section, man. Let's talk about it, man. And I'll see y'all in the next video, man. And I'm out. It's Stingy K TV.